has though come to a decision. I need to go back down to B5 to get some medicine. So I take your test. Hmm, so be it. Let us be off then. Okay. Oh, and do me a favor. Please, don't do anything to Zack. Of course. Why is it? I smell a sweet scent coming from him. It seems you felt compelled to keep me away from Zack. You needn't keep a watchful eye on me. No harm shall come to him by my hand. Shall we get going, Rachel Gardner? Why do you help Zack cling to life? If he were to die, I'd be lost. Be lost? What do you mean? It's because I want Zack to kill me. Zack made an oath to God. Interesting. So that is your incentive. Heavens, it is a terrible oath you have fought. Just as I suspected, the sweet sand. Rachel Garner. Oh. Well, for now we have arrived at B3. What is the matter? It's nothing. I just had something in my eyes that is that's all. Henceforth, all I can do is over you such advice. No need to be intimidated. It shan't prove difficult. To operate the elevator leading down from here, thou must find its mechanism and press the switch. The B3 switch is located in the chain. If you can press it, then I shall open up the elevator. The jail. That's where a sex dump on an arm that was sticking out from one of the cells. Time to get moving. Is 
that the switch you mentioned? Can I reach it? Just a little further. But where are those things? It doesn't look like they are following me there though. You can't get into the chair like this. Those things are in the way. I can't use my gun anymore. What do I do now? I got it. This floor has traps all over the place. The chair is over there. There should at least be a way to deal with them when they come out of their cells. I check out the room with the machine that controls this floor. <coughs> Not there. This electric chair. <coughs> Is gone. I should be able to prove up with a security video here. It's this room. The device mission is for this room. This is harder than I thought. Is this it? Shooting would be a scapy with this. Could that be why there's so many of them here? I'm short on time, gotta hurry. Just need to delay the process and press this button. I can save you into this room. can pass through safely. <laughs> what a terrible thing you've done. Disposing of those who lamed in pain and suffering like yesterday's garbage. And yet you show no emotion. You would stop at nothing to have Zack take your life. Rachel, you truly are a sinful woman. What was that? Wait, it's gone. I don't get it. At any rate, I gotta hurry. I shut them all so I shouldn't be obstructed anymore. Ah. No, this is no time to worry about that now. I'm sure I shut them. There's no trace of them. Chase or impede your progress? 
No, somebody did, but I shot them all. Is that so? And what was your reasoning for such an act? Because they ran away. I see. Well, time is short. Let us carry on to the next room. Rachel Gardner. Uh huh. As you request, floor up B4. The switch here is within the water temperature control room. Why must you do all of this? What do you mean? For a while now your actions have been confusing me. I just want to go downstairs to find some medicine. This all for the sake of learning who you are. Who I am? Indeed, for you, see, you are irregular. A lamentable, lamentable lamb, or perhaps a demon? Also, I'm monitoring your actions during this test. He wants to know more about me. But that... that shouldn't matter to him. me how am I able to see the dead now but this is no time to be scared Inspection. I see this place has been utterly ruined. Eddie was a nice boy, to be true. Furious he must have been that his graveyards were the target of Valencia's devastation. Perhaps his kind heart is to blame for his tendency to receive the short end of his stick. A pitch is fell. But it is those who were meant to be resting in their graves who should be pitied most. Eddie was compassionate enough to give them a resting place for the cleansing of their souls. No, even that we shan't be granted. Well, I shall go on ahead. You may resume your errand. There is something sti sticking out from the broken gravestones. Those shouldn't be here. But no need to worry about that now. I've got to go to the temperature control room. I'm pretty sure it's at the back of the room to the right. Control for the water temperature it should be through here. I'm opening the refrigerator, a piece of free evidence. There is nothing inside. Ah, there's a hole in the bed, but I can't seem to reach it. 
Press the switch. It appears so. Rachel Gardner, how did you manage to press the switch? I attached a toy hand to a pickaxe and pressed it with the. Interesting. Did they wail in agony? No. How can you be sure? I mean, it was just a toy hand after all. So be it. If that is what you saw, then it is must be true. Please let me go down to the next floor. Very well. Hmm. We 
we have arrived at B5. You wish to come here, did you not? Yeah. Then make haste and find your medicine. Danny is a fastidious man, but he is nevertheless scrupulous, dedicated and unpierced in his work. Surely he has some medicine, you see. Nevertheless, it seems Danny has been a trifle obsessive as of late. Um, what is it? Just something I need to get on B6 as well. Sure, it's okay. Yes. Return to the elevator once you have found the medicine. Okay. Time to find the medicine. I'm positive there should be some here. Although I was in a complete daze and didn't take a good look around when I was here before. I passed through this floor before, but something seems a bit out of place. It's been bothering me the whole time, but I just can't put my finger on it. The walls and the elevator are exactly as they were. Even sex vomit is still there. Something's really not right here. I'm out of here. Just now. What in the world? But the whole thing's left me feeling strangely refreshed. It bothers me. Never mind that. I gotta find that medicine. Sex depending on me. I try to the operation room. It seems like a place where I could find some. Security cameras broken. The inside's also been ransacked. Just nothing here. The area has been ransacked, leave no place to step. There's too much debris to pass through and it's completely destroyed. <laughs> the class rack is unlocked. Unfortunately, the medicine has been taken out, leaving it bare. The trucks are gone. I'll scour all the truck shelves on this floor if I have to. Have we not found any medicine yet? Ne alter. Doctor's missing. Oh no, where is he? I'm pretty certain there wasn't a body on B3 or B4 either. But the only trace of him being tracked is here. Something's off. I forget it for now. My first priority is finding something with medicine. The room in the back should have a shelf of specimens and trucks. What 
dachte, Danny uns klaut. Hm? It's gone. All gone. The medicine's all gone. Did you find any medicine? But you're so weak. Shall I finish you off, Zack? Never change, do you, Zack? It amazes me that you can move so nimbly in that shape. But look at you, you're almost out of breath. What the hell are you doing here? Surprise! And you're all alone with you attempting to go off the way to and leave this room. So I hid a bit of a safety for a caution under my clothes just in case. I had no idea. No idea that you'd actually show up though. Alright, I'll slash you good one more time. You must push yourself, Sam. It's such a slow one. Huh? Besides all that, just give it a rest. If I didn't make it out unscathed, okay? My body armor and blood transfusion takes me to the heart. I'm soothing this thing. You seem pretty peppy considering this last meeting. That's what separates you and I. Proper preparation in advance. You clean up afterwards. Just a friend you can I thought about killing you on sleep. But you woke up. There goes the lady. Tell me, why you a company Rachel? And where is she anyways? Are you seriously after me then? If I ever tell you where she is, you fuck. What would you do if I say I killed her, huh? Things been admiring their peepers. Are you trying to say you killed her? Don't fuck around with me. Those peepers are you weak. I've been searching my whole life for peepers like those. Alive, you're dead, and so tranquil and beautiful. I think I'm gonna let someone like you have her peepers. They are all mine. Mine. I've been admiring them for so long. Flying fuck. I couldn't care less about her eyes. But 
that you are free to kill me, I'll be the one to do it. So whatever happens to Ray is due to decide. Fine, have it your way then. I know she's alive. You being here on this floor is Allow me to make a proposal and better friend. Huh? To tell the truth, I have lots of medicine on my heart. Want me to use it to save you? That is, if you scoop out Rachel's peepers and give them to me. I just told you that I've got no fucking interest in Ray's eyes. Count me out. Without her eyes, her laugh and smile would be empty. I thought I told you to leave me alone about her stupid eyes. I'm not giving you anything, you bastard. Oh my, what a fool. I take my leave then. Huh? I lose to a monster like you in my current state. You can't even walk properly by yourself, right? In that case, I should hoof it out of here while I can. Besides, I gotta make preparations to protect her peoples. Hey, shit, wait! at B6. Sex law corresponds to his mystic, tis uncomplicated in design. Now make haste. Gotta get it. Gotta get it and hurry back. So it's inside the place the second I first met. That's so romantic. Inside here? This room. This place is pixie, but it feels like somebody was here. Could this be where Sag was staying? I know I'm in a hurry, but I'm a bit curious about all of this. There's a tattered magazine with smudge of scribbles. There's a graffiti around it and there's an image of a fox. Maybe Zack wrote this. Oh, that's right. Zack can't read. Oh Gott, you not have to read the lesson by to bring on the curl. Oh, I have him here. Empty cans of carbonate beverage since June. Does he like this soda or something? Dirty used bandages are discarded on the floor. Broken glass cup on the desk. Cupboard piano and a drink. How unsafe. But there are signs of someone drinking from it. Drinking from a broken cup. Colorful cereal scattered all over the floor. I guess the soda pop didn't com complement the cereal well enough. There's a sink in caked in reddish brown spreader and tongue dirty towel. Don't tell me he's been using this the whole time. half-eaten bag of snacks is on the floor. The contents are mushy. So blankets are scattered all over the room. So a 
the shoddy hot spring sofa. The blankets are thin, must not provide much warmth. A single bandage lies between the sofa. A bandage? Good. Just no burn medicine. Right after, right after, do a quick final check. A dirty knife lies on the crate. Is this what Zack was talking about? It's awfully dirty and not to mention a little rusty. Seems like it wasn't maintained very well. That's odd. The blade. It looks razor sharp. I bring it along just in case. I think there's probably nothing else left. Better hurry and get back. Sack. So he spent his time here like this. I had no idea. Come to think of it, I don't I don't know anything about Sack. Time to hit back and see Sack. Did you finish your urn on P6? Yeah, so I want to hurry and get back to B2. Very well, let us return then. Yes, please, 